Hello, Lizzie here, and today I'm going to show you how to put a zipped pocket in sort of midway through a project that you might be making, like a bag. So this is a really interesting and good one to learn. So the first thing we need to do is obviously to get our pieces of fabric. Now the pocket needs to be the depth of when you fold it up plus two. So let's say, for instance, you need a four inch pocket. So you need that at least twice. So that's eight inches and then add on another couple of inches to make sure we can sew that zip in in place. So for about a four inch depth, you need about a 10 inch piece of fabric. And that's all approximate because you need to decide what depth of pocket and what width of zip. But in this instance, if I just go through what I'm going to do, it's about a, a seven inch zip that I'm going to pop in. So there's my, my pretend bag and I'll just put that to one side for the moment. So with the fabric that you're going to use for your pocket, now I've actually stabilised this with a cotton interfacing and that's always a good idea to do that. I've cut myself a zip, now you can, I use zip on a roll, but you could use zip that's already pre-bought that uh, is of about the length that you want, plus a little bit more I would say. So all I'm going to do is mark down on my fabric so let's just work out. So there's my pocket. It's going to look like that one. So if I show you, this is what it looks like on the back. And that's what we're aiming for. And that's what it looks like on the front. So if I fold my fabric in half, so we know roughly where we're going, put a little crease there, open it up. I'm going to mark down an inch from that top line. So use your ruler or your tape measure, whatever you've got to hand, and just draw yourself a line all the way across. Then you're going to draw another line, half an inch again. So let's do that like that. So you've got two lines going across. Now I'm going to mark in about an inch. And again, it's always about because this is down to you as to where you want your zip to go and how much you're going to uh, need for seam allowances. So the least you should do is half an inch. So there is our markers. So one inch, half an inch and one inch in on both sides. Now we're going to draw a line all the way through that middle section there. It's a bit like a letterbox. So a quarter of an inch and we're going to draw a line. Then from there, I'm just going to mark up a little V. So it's about a quarter of an inch. If you want to measure it, then please measure it. But this, this part is all going to be tucked inside, so it's not totally crucial. But that's the sort of shape you need. Then what you're going to do is place this on your fabric and you're going to place it right sides onto your fabric. So if you want your zip pocket to be in this position here, obviously on your project, you need to decide where that's going to go. But for this instance, we're putting it there. I just pop that over the top. Now we can pin this in place. So I'll just bring a couple of pins in just to hold that in place. Like this. And then what we're going to do is take it to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch. And we're going to stitch from here along this line here to here, along this line here and back to the beginning again and do a little back stitch to make sure that's secure in that corner. So I finished stitching all the way around just as I showed you just before and now I've cut through as well. So if we have a look at this, you can see what I've done is I've cut through that centre line that we drew and where we did the little triangles at the end there, I've just cut those as well. So we've got like a letterbox going on here now. So take your pins out. You don't need those anymore, not for the time being anyway. And we're going to turn this through that letterbox. So you're going to turn it through on itself. So just pop it through. And you just got to work this now. So you've got a nice, neat letterbox on the uh, right side of your fabric, on your bag or your project, your garment, whatever you're making. Now, this will take a little minute to do. Just bringing out all those edges, giving them a finger press, feeding all this through. Nearly there now. So let's just take it from the front as well so you can see how that's looking. Now obviously at this stage it's a bit wrinkly so we need to give it a good press. So I'll bring in the iron. You can understitch this if you want to but for the benefits of this demonstration we'll just do it uh, uh, without the understitching. 
the main thing is that you learn how to do this technique and then you can make it a little bit more advanced if you want to. So there we are, that's what it looks like. And if we flip it over to the front, just want to make sure that our corners, do you see how they're puckering? You just want to sort of stretch those out a little bit. It's a good time to get the steam iron on this, but I think for this uh, purposes we'll be fine. Just get those corners out. Right, that's lovely. So we've made our letterbox. So all we need to do now is put our zip in. So all we need to do with that is get some quilters tape and just stick the quilters tape on the far edge of the tape of the zip. So if you can see there, that quilters tape is on the far edge because you don't want that to show. So just take that quilters tape off. I've got a bin down there. And then you're just going to stick it underneath your letterbox. So we'll put that down and make sure your zip is in the right place. Just move it along if you need to. And then you're just going to literally glue that down. And that's just, it's just a temporary hold because obviously you need to stitch this now. So just and try to get your, the width of your letterbox to be the same all the way along. So it's good to have a bit of a, an eyeball on this. Take a bit of time. Make sure that you bring the ends of the zips together. You can bring your zip along just to help you with that. Now that is firmly stuck down, ready for stitching. There we go. So all I'm going to do now is run my zipper foot over the top of that to hold it down. So I've stitched all the way around, so creating my lovely pocket, zipped pocket, right in the middle of a project. How fab. But we need to obviously finish the pocket off because this is what it looks like on the back. So all you're going to do is bring this bottom edge up, just like I showed you right at the very beginning. So take that fold, that crease line that you made and fold it back up again. And then just get your quilting clips or your pins and just clip those two sides together just for reassurance you've got it all in the right place and keep it together. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to stitch just three sides. So we're going to start here or wherever's convenient and you're going to stitch, I don't know, a quarter of an inch, half an inch. Um, you've, you've got a little bit of room to play with and you're going to stitch all the way along these three sides. So right across the top as well. So you're up there, across and down. So don't forget as you're stitching, you need to tuck all that fabric underneath. So your main piece, your outer piece needs to be tucked right underneath. So I've just stitched up one side and it's tucked under. So as I turn and pivot, I'm tucking all that main fabric underneath my pocket. So I'm not stitching that, I'm just stitching the pocket. So as I come up to the top again, just making sure that's all out of the way. And I'm stitching about a half an inch. Again, needle down, pivot. See all this fabric here, which is my main fabric. I'm just tucking that out of the way. I've now stitched all around my pocket. So it's about a half an inch all the way around. Now you can trim that back if you want to, but that's gonna be inside your project. So 
it's up to you whether you trim it back or not. But what you've created is the most beautiful zipped pocket right in the middle of a project. How fantastic is that?